Welcome to Market Minute, where we dissect the companies shaping our future. Today we're looking up, way up. The dream of the flying car has captivated imaginations for over a century. It's a staple of science fiction, a symbol of a future that always seemed just out of reach. But what if that future is finally arriving? One company, Joby Aviation, is working tirelessly to make it a reality. They aren't building cars with wings, they are crafting quiet, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Think of them as air taxis. They promise to leapfrog city traffic. They promise to turn a grueling one-hour commute into a breezy 10-minute flight. This isn't just a fantasy sketched on a napkin. It's a multi-billion dollar venture backed by serious engineering. Joby Aviation's mission is both simple and profoundly ambitious. To save a billion people an hour a day. This is the mantra that drives their every move. The company envisions a world where clean, quiet air travel is an integrated part of our daily urban lives. Their S-4 aircraft is the centerpiece of this vision. It's a five-seat, pilot-plus-four-passengers vehicle, designed for speed, designed for safety, designed for a near-silent acoustic footprint. By harnessing the power of electric propulsion, Joby aims to build not just a new vehicle, but an entirely new transportation network. This network will be accessible through a simple app, much like the ride-sharing services we use today, but operating in the third dimension. It's a bold reimagining of urban mobility. The core technology is what sets Joby apart. Their aircraft utilizes six tilting propellers. They lift off vertically like a helicopter, then transition to forward flight like a conventional airplane. This hybrid capability is key. It eliminates the need for long, space-consuming runways, enabling operations from small, designated vertiports on rooftops and in parking garages. The electric motors make the aircraft significantly quieter than traditional helicopters. That's crucial for gaining public acceptance in dense urban environments. The company has spent more than a decade in stealth mode, meticulously refining this design to meet stringent safety and performance standards. The goal is a transportation solution that is not only faster, but also greener and more community-friendly. The journey from a concept to a commercial service is fraught with challenges. It requires clearing immense regulatory hurdles, building out a complex manufacturing process, and creating an entirely new infrastructure for takeoff, for landing, and for charging. Joby is tackling these challenges head-on. They are not just an aircraft designer, they are positioning themselves as a vertically integrated aviation company. This means they are developing the software, building the aircraft, and planning to operate the service themselves. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy. If successful, Joby won't just be a player in a new market. They will have defined it, setting the standard for the nascent era of urban air mobility. In the high-stakes world of electric vertical takeoff and landing development, progress is measured in milestones. Joby Aviation has been hitting them with impressive regularity. One of the most significant recent developments is their deepening partnership with the United States Air Force. Through the Agility Prime program, Joby has been able to conduct extensive real-world testing and generate early revenue. On August 7, 2025, the company announced the delivery of a second S-4 aircraft to MacDill Air Force Base in Florida. This isn't just a symbolic gesture, it's a validation of their technology by a highly discerning customer. Logistics personnel transport emergency response drills, providing invaluable operational data long before commercial launch. Beyond military alliances, Joby has been forging critical commercial partnerships. A landmark agreement with Delta Airlines aims to create a seamless home-to-airport connection for passengers. Imagine booking a flight and having the option to add an air taxi ride directly to the terminal, bypassing traffic entirely. This partnership provides Joby with a massive built-in customer base and a clear use case for its initial service launch. Similarly, their collaboration with SK Telecom in South Korea positions them for international expansion. SKT's deep expertise in telecommunications and mobility platforms will be instrumental in launching and managing an air taxi network in one of the world's most technologically advanced and densely populated urban areas. Regulatory approval is the ultimate gatekeeper for the entire electric vertical takeoff and landing industry. Here too, Joby has demonstrated clear momentum. As of our check-in today, August 22, 2025, the company has completed three of the five stages of the Federal Aviation Administration type certification process. This is a grueling multi-year endeavor that scrutinizes every aspect of the aircraft's design, manufacturing, and operation. 
Reaching this advanced stage puts Joby ahead of many of its competitors. They have also received their Part 135 Air Carrier and Operator Certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration, which allows them to operate a commercial air taxi service once their aircraft is certified. This proactive approach shows they are building the operational framework in parallel with the hardware. New investments continue to signal market confidence. While the initial special purpose acquisition company Boom has cooled, Joby continues to attract strategic capital. A recent funding round saw participation from existing backers like Toyota, who are not just investors but also manufacturing partners. Toyota's expertise in high-volume, high-quality production is seen as a critical asset for Joby, as it scales from building prototypes to mass-producing hundreds and eventually thousands of aircraft per year. This blend of government contracts, commercial airline partnerships and strategic industrial investment creates a powerful ecosystem of support, de-risking their path to market and solidifying their position as a front-runner in the race to the skies. A deep dive into Joby Aviation's recent earnings report reveals a story typical of a pre-revenue deep tech company. The numbers for the second quarter of 2025 released in early August show minimal revenue primarily derived from their contracts with the Department of Defense. The headline figures are dominated by expenses. Research and development costs remain substantial. General and administrative expenses are also significant. This financial profile is not for the faint of heart, it's a story of investment and cash burn, not immediate profit. However, interpreting these figures requires a specific lens. For a company like Joby, the most critical number on the balance sheet is cash on hand. As of their last report, the company maintained a robust cash position, giving them a crucial runway to continue operations through certification and into initial commercial launch. The net loss per share, while notable, is expected at this stage. Investors are not looking for quarterly profits yet. Instead, they are scrutinizing the company's burn rate against its progress toward key milestones, advanced certification, scale manufacturing, secure partnerships. The financial narrative is less about the past and almost entirely about the future. The company's valuation is not based on current earnings but on the massive potential of the market it seeks to create. Analysts' models project a steep ramp-up in revenue beginning in late 2026 and accelerating dramatically thereafter. These projections are contingent on achieving FAA certification on schedule and successfully launching service in key markets like New York and Los Angeles. The long-term forecast for Joby Aviation is intrinsically tied to the forecast for the entire urban air mobility industry. This isn't just a niche market, it's a projected paradigm shift in transportation. Major financial institutions like Morgan Stanley have published reports forecasting the UAM market could be worth over $1 trillion by 2040 and potentially much more as technology matures and scales. This staggering figure is based on the idea that EVE Tolls will capture a significant share of existing ground transportation markets, such as ride-sharing, airport shuttles, while also creating entirely new demand for short-hop air travel. The value proposition is simple. Time. In an increasingly congested world, the ability to travel across a city in minutes instead of hours is a powerful economic driver. For Joby specifically, long-term forecasts from analysts who cover the stock are bullish, albeit with wide variations. The consensus points to a J-curve of growth. This means a period of slow initial adoption and network build-out followed by an exponential increase in flights, revenue and profitability as the service becomes more widespread and the cost per flight decreases. Success hinges on a virtuous cycle. More aircraft lead to better network coverage which attracts more passengers, driving down prices, and leading to even greater demand. If Joby can successfully navigate the initial launch and scale its manufacturing and operations, it is positioned to capture a dominant share of this nascent market, especially in North America. The broader industry forecast also depends on several external factors. Public acceptance is paramount. People need to feel that these new aircraft are safe, quiet, a positive addition to their communities. Infrastructure development is another critical piece of the puzzle. Cities will need to work with companies like Joby to develop building codes and zoning regulations for vertiports. Advances in battery technology will also play a key role. While current batteries are sufficient for initial routes, future improvements in energy density will enable longer flights, heavier payloads, faster turnaround times, expanding the operational envelope and economic viability of the entire UAM ecosystem. 
The industry's growth will be a collaborative effort between technology companies, regulators, urban planners. Ultimately, the UAM revolution is about more than just technology, it's about changing human behavior. It asks us to rethink our relationship with our cities and the time we spend moving through them. The long-term vision extends beyond simple taxi services. It includes cargo and logistics emergency medical services regional travel between nearby cities. Joby's vertical integration strategy, building the plane, the software, operating the service, is designed to give them maximum control over the user experience and the economics of this new transportation layer. If the trillion-dollar forecasts are even partially correct, being an early leader with a fully integrated solution could make Joby one of the most consequential transportation companies of the 21st century. Joby Aviation's road to commercialization is not a hopeful wish, it's a meticulously planned strategic blueprint. The company's future plans rest on three core pillars, completing certification of its aircraft, scaling manufacturing capabilities, launching an aerial ride-sharing service in key markets. The most immediate and critical goal is achieving type certification from the FAA. That certification declares the S-4 aircraft safe for commercial passenger operations. Joby is nearing the final intensive stages for credit flight testing, detailed component analysis. Every decision is subordinated to this regulatory goal. Once certification is secured, focus pivots to manufacturing, building prototypes versus producing hundreds annually. The partnership with Toyota is central, leveraging Toyota's production system to design a high-volume factory. Initial pilot production facility in Marina, California is already active. The production plan is phased, low-rate production to start, then rapid scale-up to meet global demand. Efficient manufacturing is key to lowering cost. The go-to-market approach is targeted. Joby will launch in a handful of cities, not everywhere. New York, Los Angeles. These cities have high population density, heavy congestion, and large markets. Initial routes will be high-traffic corridors connecting downtowns with major airports. Partnership with Delta enhances those airport links. Customers will book through a Joby app, simple and seamless. Early pricing will be premium, comparable to Uber Black. Expansion follows a hub-and-spoke model, grow within launch cities then connect nearby cities to form regional networks. International expansion via partners like SK Telecom and a focus on the UAE. This phased rollout manages complexity, builds expertise, and creates a scalable, profitable network. While Joby Aviation has carved out a leadership position, it is by no means flying solo. The skies of the emerging EVT all industry are getting increasingly crowded with well-funded, tech-savvy competitors. Companies like Archer Aviation, Vertical Aerospace, Archer's Midnight Aircraft, Archer's partnership with United Airlines, Archer's partnership with Stellantis, that mirrors Joby's alliances with Delta and Toyota. The race is about partners and speed to market as much as technology. The competition comes in various shapes and sizes. Whisk Aero, Boeing, Whisk's parent company. Whisk is focused on fully autonomous self-flying aircraft from day one. That could mean a longer certification path but a disruptive pilot-free cost model. Lilium, based in Germany. Lilium's ducted electric fans, designed for higher speeds and regional travel. The market likely won't be winner-take-all. Niches will form. Beyond aircraft makers, there are enabling technology providers and potential service operators. Some firms may build aircraft and sell to third-party operators, like Boeing and Airbus do today. If that model wins, Joby's vertically integrated manufacturer-operator approach faces new competition. The UAM market structure is still in flux. Joby is betting on owning the entire stack. Joby's advantages are maturity and a head start. Over a decade of development before going public, widely seen as advanced and well-tested. Progress with FAA certification is a powerful moat. Joby's partnerships with the Department of Defense, Delta, Toyota, navigating this landscape will require continuous innovation, flawless execution, and strategic use of capital. So we circle back to our initial question. Is Joby Aviation the next big thing? The answer is complex, suspended between incredible potential and significant risk. Joby has positioned itself at the forefront of a potential multi-trillion dollar transportation revolution. It has a mature, elegant aircraft design, a clear advanced path through FAA certification. Strategic partners provide capital, strategic partners provide manufacturing expertise, strategic partners provide a built-in customer base. The vision, clean, quiet air travel freeing us from traffic, is compelling, but the hurdles are formidable. The final stages of certification are the hardest. 
Scaling from prototype to mass production is a common stumbling block. Public perception must be managed so communities welcome these vehicles, and the capital needed to build a global network is immense. Success is not guaranteed, it depends on flawless execution over several years. Joby must deliver on promises and hit milestones on schedule. They must prove the economics are viable and profitable. The next 12-24 months will be the most telling period, the key event to watch, FAA type certification. That certification is the green light, the theoretical becomes real. After that, watch for the first commercial flights carrying paying passengers, that will mark the true birth of the UAM industry. Watch initial performance in Los Angeles, watch initial performance in New York. First data point, consumer demand. Second, operational efficiency. Third, profitability. The dream is close, but the final approach is the most critical phase. Joby is a high-risk, high-reward bet on how we live and move. They have the technology, they have the team, they have the capital, they have the strategic vision. If they navigate the final leg to commercialization, they could redefine our urban landscape for generations. The flight plan is filed. The aircraft is on final approach. The world watches to see if it can stick the landing. Thanks for tuning into Market Minute. Please like and subscribe for more updates.